Hey everyone, Jake Otro here with eXp Realty in the Tri-Cities and welcome to another Monday edition of Real Estate Talk with Jay. So last week I shared a little bit of information on social media with some national statistics from the National Association of Realtors that showed that sales of new homes or newly constructed homes is actually on the rise, or actually, sorry, um, the number of um, active listings of new homes is on the rise. However, the number of existing homes is actually declining that is available for sale on the market. So I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of perspective on that from our local market, but also show you kind of why that is, at least in my own opinion. So let's take a look, shall we? As you can see by this current graph, as far as the active listing count by month, we haven't made any significant changes to our inventory levels over the past year. In fact, we're, we're just about where we were this time last year. And you can see even throughout the year, there hasn't been any major peaks or valleys. It's sort of just hovered um, around the same place, um, plus or minus a few hundred listings. So no significant impact on the overall market so far this year. Why do you think that is? Well, let's take a look at that. So we've seen other headlines that says that housing starts for newly constructed homes are surging. However, there still remains a shortage of inventory. So why is that? Well, let's take a little bit of a look at that here from our local market. So as you can see, last year compared to this year, this year we have almost 80% fewer newly constructed homes on the market than we did this time last year. And so these are these are year to date numbers. So this is this is all of this year currently compared to the same time last year. Now, if we look back at 2019, you can see we're still down a little over 20% um, as far as new homes, newly constructed homes available to purchase. If we go back to 2018, it flip flops a little bit and we're up about 24%. So if we go ahead and add in all of the inventory in the market, so that's new home, uh, newly constructed homes and existing homes, you can see that those numbers are still a little bit down. So the number of total listings is actually up slightly uh, from this year compared to last year, but you can see compared to 2019 and 2018, it follows pretty much the same trend of the newly constructed homes. However, let's look at the share of the market that is new construction. As you can see, that has historically been around 4% over this time period. There was a bit of a spike last year, um, almost doubled that, but right now we've kind of gone back to normal um, as far as a 4% share or pre-COVID share of new construction um, as far as the share of the number of homes for sale. Now, why do I mention that? Because when new construction is only about 4% of the market, there is no way to build ourselves out of this current inventory shortage. Um, you just can't, you'd be asking builders to do almost 100% increase in what they're currently doing. Not double or triple, but almost 10 times what they're currently building if we wanted to make up the gap and get towards a more balanced market. And you, I mean, I don't know about you, but that's just not going to be possible. There's not enough builders. There's not enough tradespeople. Um, there's not enough workers to make that happen. And also, there's not enough available land. There's not enough subdivisions to make that happen that have available lots. So with only a 4% share of the market, again, no way to build our way out of this. Um, so while we have seen an uptick in that, it hasn't really made much of an impact on the inventory this year, as I, as I showed you in the beginning. Now, why are we still experiencing an inventory shortage? Well, part of the reason right now is, and this is what I hear from people all the time, is we're not, the reason why the, the um, number of existing homes um, is dropping is because of the extremely low interest rates we saw uh, during 2020 and 2021. Quite simply, people just don't want to give up that 2.5% mortgage for a 7.5% mortgage. So the only people that are currently listing their homes for sale are doing it because they have to. Um, before, there was a good share of the market that just wanted to move up or just wanted to move down 
or thought they wanted to move into a new subdivision or new area so they would list their home for sale. There are people that would just list it for sale and see what would happen. Well, that's not happening right now because again, they don't want to trade that 2.5% mortgage rate for a 7.5% mortgage rate. So the homes that are coming on the market now are mostly from people that have to move um, due to job related issues, family related issues such as divorce, deaths in the family, um, or births. You know, maybe you've been living in a small home and now you've got two kids or maybe you've added a third kid and you need a bigger home and there's just no way to add on to your current home. So those are the people that are um, currently putting their homes for sale. And you've also got people not taking jobs um, because of the increase in cost it would be for them in a mortgage payment. So all of that is, is working together to suppress the normal amount of homes that we, we would see for sale right now. But even with that, that would still put us in a shortage because as you hear me say um, all the time, a balanced market for our local market here would be anywhere between 4,000 to 6,000 homes on the market. And we're currently sitting at about 1,200. So we're not nearly there. So bottom line is we're not going to see an end to this low inventory of homes for sale, which is unfortunate for buyers, especially home uh, first time buyers, but there really is just no good answer for this. There's a lot of people that are throwing out options um, and looking at ways to fix this, but none of those are gonna be short term. They're looking, it's gonna be longer term fixes. Um, and really there's just no end in sight, at least no short term end in sight to the um, lack of available homes to purchase currently. I hope you found that information more interesting than my usual post. I wanted to give you a little bit of insight into the current lack of inventory. Again, my name is Jay Cottrell with eXp Realty here in the Tri-Cities, and I would love the opportunity to meet with you and speak with you, whether you're looking to purchase a home or you're looking to sell a home, to talk to you about what are your current options in this market so that we can find out what's gonna work best for you. And if you, uh, I even work with investors too. So if you're looking to purchase some investments properties, or maybe you want to offload some investment properties, I'd love to talk to you about that as well. And as always, if you like these videos and find them helpful, please like them and share them. Um, YouTube is telling me that at least half of the subscribe, half of the people watching my videos on YouTube are still not subscribers to my YouTube channel. So I really appreciate it if you would go the extra mile and hit subscribe. That way more people can see these things. It lets me know that what I'm doing um, is worthwhile for you. And it also helps just more people know what I do so that I might be able to help them. Anyways, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week.